So in light of the exposure of multiple significant failures by the FBI, there's a strong argument to be made that the FBI needs new leadership because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So the FBI's failures continue to pile up. And maybe failures isn't the best word because what we're learning about weren't just missteps by the FBI, weren't just omissions by the FBI. Even the director of the FBI has acknowledged that a number of agents were involved in misconduct in the way they handled the investigation into the sexual abuse allegations by our young Olympic gymnasts. And let me say up front, friends, that I take no pleasure in criticizing the FBI. As a federal prosecutor, I worked RICO cases in the courts of Washington, D.C. with the FBI. And I admire so many of the FBI special agents with whom I worked. But when the FBI walks away from its responsibility to victims of crime, particularly young victims of crime, they need to be held accountable. There needs to be accountability at the highest levels of the FBI, and it sure looks like it is time that the FBI needs new leadership. Here's how this is being reported out today by HuffPost. Senator questions FBI's Kavanaugh investigation during hearing on Nasser case. And that article begins, a senator on Wednesday drew parallels between the FBI's handling of the Larry Nasser abuse case and its treatment of Christine Blasey Ford's sexual assault allegations against Brett Kavanaugh, suggesting the agency's probe into the Supreme Court nominee was just as flawed. And that article continues, the FBI agents in Indianapolis didn't look into multiple allegations made against Nasser for over a year and made other fundamental errors during their investigation, including concealing and fabricating information in their reports to FBI headquarters. And here is just some of what Senator Sheldon Whitehouse said when he was comparing the FBI's conduct in the Larry Nasser investigation to the FBI's conduct in the Brett Kavanaugh confirmation matter concerning the allegations by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Quote, It strikes me very strongly as we sit here today and heard powerful testimony earlier this morning that the last time a woman came forward in this committee to testify to her allegations of sexual assault in her childhood, the witness was Christine Blasey Ford, White House said to FBI Director Christopher Wray. Quote, it appeared to me then, and it appears to me now, that her testimony was swept under the rug in a confirmation stampede. It is very possible that the FBI investigation of her allegations was just as flawed, just as constrained, just as inappropriate as the investigation in this case, meaning the Larry Nasser case. And friends, Senator Whitehouse knows whereof he speaks. He spent several years as a United States attorney, a federal prosecutor. After that, he spent several more years as the Attorney General of Rhode Island. And even the FBI director, Christopher Wray, acknowledged wrongdoing by the FBI. Here's the headline from CBS. FBI director details totally unacceptable failures in Larry Nasser case. And of the FBI agents who engaged in misconduct, one was fired, let go by the FBI, just about two weeks ago, and the other 
was allowed to retire. And this is what happened to those two agents who engaged in misconduct that was described as follows, first by Senator Richard Blumenthal. Senator Blumenthal said he was infuriated that FBI agents made material false statements and deceptive omissions. Senator Richard Durbin, the Judiciary Committee's chairman, called the FBI's botched investigation a dereliction of duty and systematic organizational failure. Senator Durbin added, it shocks the conscience when the failures come from law enforcement itself, yet that's exactly what happened in the Nasser case. You know, friends, if FBI agents make false statements as part of their investigation, false statements that work to the extreme detriment of child victims, they shouldn't just be let go by the FBI. They shouldn't be allowed to retire. They should be criminally investigated. And if the evidence supports it, they should be prosecuted. Friends, all of this makes clear that the FBI needs new leadership. Fair, honest, ethical, nonpartisan, compassionate, caring, new leadership. Not leadership that will fail to adequately hold accountable FBI agents who engage in misconduct to the extreme detriment of victims. Not leadership that will fail to adequately investigate sexual abuse allegations by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford about Brett Kavanaugh and instead what the FBI decided to do was collect up 4,500 citizen tips about Brett Kavanaugh and deliver them to the very people, Donald Trump and his White House counsel, the very people who had every incentive to bury that presumptively damaging information. The very people who then went on to cram Brett Kavanaugh down America's throat in a sham confirmation hearing. The FBI needs new leadership. Leadership that will insist that the rank and file fight for victims. That the rank and file will fight for America's interest in having qualified people serve on the Supreme Court. Friends, none of this is rocket science. This is just good government. This is kind of just what we the people deserve. It's just about accountability. It's just about justice. And justice matters. Friends, as always, thank you for tuning in to these daily Justice Matters video. You can also get them in podcast form, audio only. Just go wherever you ordinarily find your podcasts. And as always, folks, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.